Hey guys, going on? Megan here. Quick video on sleep restriction and testosterone. By the way, this one should be up uh, probably tomorrow. It's testosterone Thursday, but I don't feel like editing this shit tonight. So it's probably going to be up tomorrow. But anyway, long story short, check out the group. The data line is the sleep restricted group, and the straight line is obviously the regular group, right? And look at the difference of testosterone, right? Obviously, from 2 p.m. all the way to 2 p.m., this is when they fell asleep, right? Obviously, testosterone production happens at night. And look at the difference in testosterone levels now keep in mind that doesn't look like a lot but that's actually about 10 percent right and 10 percent is a lot it's a huge drop your testosterone levels drop about one percent a year from aging so a 10 percent drop is the equivalent of pretty much 10 years of aging right and this is after only one week of sleep restriction and that was five hours of sleep most people think five hours of sleep is normal that's sleep restriction guys and i have so many videos on this year after year after year I keep shoving it down your throat. You cannot sleep five to six hours and then complain the next day about, oh, uh, you know, I'm tired. I have no energy. I have no motivation to train. I can't recover well. You know, maybe I'm doing too much volume. Maybe I'm overtrained. I got to hop on TLT. No, motherfucker, you need to sleep more, right? Out of all the top five, top 10 things you could do to increase your testosterone levels, and I have a video about that. You can check it out. The number one thing is sleep. It's always number one at the top of my list. Right, followed by everything else, which is eating enough, you know, enough calories and and fixing vitamin and mineral deficiency, blah blah blah. blah. The number one thing is sleep. Because think about it, guys. That's when most of your testosterone is being produced. Your body only makes about seven milligrams of testosterone a day, right? Three on the low side, ten on the high side if you're lucky, right? And most of that is at night. And a lot of you guys are going to bed super late. You playing video games all night. You playing fucking Fortnite and you watching Netflix. You go to bed super late. You wake up with only five or six hours of sleep, and you wonder why in your mid twenties or your late teens you feel like shit. And you think that oh I'm I'm hypogonadal. I have to hop on a juice. I gotta overdose on pre workout and coffee. Sleep is so crucial. Again, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you know how much I, you know how big of an emphasis I put on sleep. So you're crushing your testosterone levels as a natty. Remember, you're not on the juice, so you have to keep have to keep your testosterone levels manually elevated. So you're crushing your T levels, which obviously is going to lower your strength in the gym. So that's obviously going to lower the amount of fibers you can recruit. That's going to lower the amount of weekly volume you can train with. And of course, volume is the number one driver of hypertrophy. It's going to hurt your recovery. It's going to hurt your sex drive. So your girlfriend's not going to get no dick, right? And all of this, primarily from not sleeping enough. That's why I keep telling you guys, stop looking for the next hot supplement that's going to fix all your problems when you're not even taking care of the basics, like water, sleep, vitamins and minerals. Look at this, just one week of poor sleep. In fact, here's the study. I'll post the link in the description, but pretty much they took a bunch of guys, small sample size, but it's been replicated so many times. I'm going to show you guys multiple studies in the future. But long story short, they took a group of guys that had them... Um, the average amount of sleep was about eight hours, so they had them sleep about 10 hours to get them fully rested, and then they put them on a one-week sleep restriction protocol, which is about five hours of sleep. And there goes the results here. And testosterone dropped 10 to 15% in just a week. Now, obviously, your body's always going to look for ways to adapt after a while, but trust me, it's not going to be pretty. Whenever your body adapts to something, to a bad habit, it's always at the expense of something else. All right? So try to maximize your sleep, guys. Stop asking me for the new hottest fucking supplement or mystery food that's going to fix your, uh, you know, low energy or low recovery issues if your sleep is not taken care of. You know, even all my clients, the f one of the first things I ask them is how much water are you drinking? How much sleep are you getting? How much sunlight are you getting? Or vitamin D, right? I focus on the basics first. Then we start looking at everything else, all right? Anyway, not trying to make this video too long because I have so many videos on sleep and testosterone already, but you get the hint. If you're sleeping five to six hours, guys, that's not enough. To be honest, even seven to eight hours should be the minimum if you're training, especially if you're training full body workouts or you're doing nucleus overload, you're training with high volume, which you should be, right? You need more sleep. If the average person needs seven to eight hours of sleep, how much sleep do you think a fucking bodybuilder or a person who trains with high volume, high frequency, constant progressive overload, how much sleep do you think that person needs, right? And I could guarantee you most of you motherfuckers don't even nap. But anyway, that's the testosterone Thursday video of the day. Hope it helps. See you guys in the comment section. All right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one. 
fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. All right, guys, I'm out of here.